Hi, my name is Joni Isinger. Welcome to my channel. Please go to my website, joniswhitelighthealing.com for more information about me. I offer readings and healings for folks who are local to North Central New Jersey as well as all around the world. I offer phone and Skype and Facebook video and FaceTime as well as in person. So contact me through my website or if you're connected with me already, you know how to reach me and we could set up a session. My rates went up as of July 1st. I hadn't raised them in six years and it was time. I'm on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and SoundCloud. I only bring in the highest of Christ-like consciousness, meaning the ones who are the enlightened ones. I don't bring in lower vibrations. I bring in ascended masters, archangels, angels, departed ones and guides, elementals, consciousnesses, and star beings. There are no timestamps to this video. It is July 1st, 2021. Spirit knows who will be watching and when. So if it resonates, that's great. And if it doesn't, I suggest putting it on the shelf for another day because on another day, you might have an aha moment. I am here wearing many hats. I am a bridge, a catalyst, a validator, a supporter, an educator, a guide. I bring in information by putting my Joni aside and the information comes in and out. I'm like a tube. That's kind of the way I, I look at it. So here we are. It's July. It's time to talk about love. I address the marrieds, the living togethers, the dating, and the singles. Collective reading for anyone that's curious, and I'm getting rid of my sea cleaner, um, anyone who's curious about their status in relation to love. So I'm going to put my Joni aside and I'm going to see what spirit has to say. Here we go. Some people are moving into the matrimony category. So there are people that are making this happen. Um, I see plans. I see joining. I see unions. So if you are embarking on matrimony and making this a wedded union, congratulations. It is real. It really is happening. So I see a lot of bounty and I see reward in your efforts to make this work. You've been going through this a lot with this person. There's um, a joining and um, it's like, a, um, I don't know, like a buildup of excitement. You've gone on with this soul for a while now and it's time to move to the next level. So you are doing this and the universe is supporting you. For those of you who are a little bit greedy and are kind of um, pulling on to make things happen, watch that because I feel that you're pulling on and you're grabbing and pushing and making and forcing is going to be counterproductive for what you're looking for. So in the matrimony category, for the ones that are enjoying the peace and the excitement, and I see bounty, but for the ones that are forcing and pulling and tugging and grabbing, I don't feel very comfortable. I'm, I don't know quite what you are doing. But this type of approach of grabbing, pulling, enticing, making, forcing, taking, it, it ends up working against you. So take a look at that. This could be karma. This could be that you feel entitled. Entitled, And entitlement is a block and it comes around back and swoops you in the butt at some point. So take a look at your entitlement if that, if that resonates with you. I'm going to go back in. I see fresh love. I see there are people that are smooching and they're having a lot of fun and they're meeting wonderful people. Very fresh, vibrant energy here around love. It's um, juicy and glowing and very bright. So what spirit is saying, take your time. Um, you don't know, you don't have to know everything all at once. Bit by bit, watch it grow. Uh, kind of like that seed that you plant and then you water it and then watch what happens. This is a step-by-step -step process. Enjoy it. And there's much to learn from this, this, um, this 
gorgeous excitement and energy that you're involved in right now that you're experiencing, you can sit back and watch and observe and ask yourself, how am I dealing with this? This is new, or I used to have that and haven't had that in a while, or I never thought I would have that again. What can I do to savor this? How can I be maybe a higher version of myself, a better person this time than I was in the other situation that was like this? I'm going to see if there's more regarding this juicy, buoyant love. So I see there are people that are trying new things. They're going out with different people they didn't think they would be excited about, and they're finding new love in a different category or area. So that's really cool. There are people that are doing something different from the norm, and it's a way of their expanding themselves. Remember, this is an earth school. So this is about spiritual growth and development. So in the category of love, it doesn't mean that everyone has to be doing that, but for some souls, by venturing into a new territory that expands their soul. They might have contracted it before they incarnated. It could have been, a, been part of a pre-birth plan to try something different, to try a new flavor, a different area, category, territory. And so for some of you, I see this new excitement, this unique new brand or way. And um, I feel like it's going to, I'm channeling, it's going to take away your suffering. That's what they say. So enjoy this. Um, it's very new. And I feel that you're very, very bright. I see some, I see halos and I see doves and I see wings and I see a lot of glowing. So I'm very excited for you. Okay, I'm going to go back in. Here we go. So in the home, this could be with the living togethers or the marrieds, I'm seeing do this, do that, do this, do that. There's territoriality and a lot of commotion. So um, get things straight for yourself as to who's doing what. Who's responsible for what in the home? There's some type of... Um, Some people are trying to make things work, and it's been quite difficult. So for those of you that are living with someone, whether it's a living together partner or a married, it seems that there's the shuffling of who's who, um, dominance, submission, territoriality, roles, setting roles, playing parts. So this needs to be cleared up. Things seem fuzzy, and there's some bristliness with this. So people need to take a look at who they're with, what they had agreed to before, where they are now and what where they want to be in the future. Conversations need to happen as soon as possible because it's getting a little bit hairy here. It's very diffuse. I see it vague and mucky and y'all are just winging it. It's getting tense. I don't feel very comfortable. So work it out. Use your mouth. Sit, be peaceful, um, make jokes if you can no attacks and sit and talk about it and assign roles and clarify who's who, what's what, and how you feel. Okay, going back in. I see some people lost some partners. They're very, very sad and they're wondering when they will meet someone again. Um, and I do see quite a few people are hurt. So regarding this, if you have lost someone that you care about, cared about, um, it's, it's huge. I'm feeling bigness around this. You need to take time, um, believe that this is divinely ordered. That is your goal. Acceptance is key. Um, this too shall pass. Um, you're not always going to be feeling this way. And in time, there will be healing. But for now, I just see it's just reverbing out. It's really very strong and deep and sad, and you're allowed to be sad. So feel your feelings. Um, you will come back. You will come to again. Um, yes, you are free on the one hand because you are not partnered, but I do feel like a lot of you want to be with someone. So give yourself time and rest. Know that this too shall pass and do what you would normally do when you feel sad and grief stricken and take those steps to heal. And my heart goes out to you and I'm sending you support.
phone back in to see if there's more regarding July 2021. Love. I think for some couples, some people are having difficulty making this work and uh, they're trying their best, but it's just not working. And you need to, I see you have hope, but you need to really calculate it, weigh pros and cons. Maybe you need to see a counselor. I'm not sure if legal is now involved, if you have consulted with an attorney or mediator. Um, for some of you, I don't see this working out. And you will know uh, by the end of the year, I feel that you um, might be at your wit's end and you might not be able to go on anymore. So take this time out to make plans, to really look ahead and see whether it's possible for you to continue on this journey with this person that you've been with. I'm not feeling very comfortable for those of you that uh, where there's a rift and there's um, just such animosity. I feel like you have worked it out to the best of your ability and now you've come to an impasse and it, it feels impossible to journey forward. Now again, this is a reading for the collective, so this might not resonate with all of you. So if it doesn't, just let it fly. If it doesn't apply, let it fly, it's fine. Let me see if there's anything more regarding July that Spirit would like to share for the collective regarding singles, dating, married, and living together. Hmm. So for those of you who are dating, there's some guy that's saying, pick already, pick one, pick. So um, you've got a few choices here. I see there are a few on the table. Uh, it's like, pick a card. So I do see there is someone who needs to make a decision about someone and they're afraid they're going to hurt someone else's feelings and it's okay. Um, you're allowed to be thoughtful about this and be concerned about the other person's heart, but it's your journey and you're in charge. So take time out to bless your decision before you take the step forward. Um, when you tell this other person that you're not interested, um, be gracious and loving and kind and do this when you feel that you are at peace, when you are not angry or sad or nervous. Do the best that you possibly can and then let it go and ask for divine assistance as well. And what, however the cards may, may fall, that is that person's choice, how they choose to receive it and respond that you can't control for another person's response you can control for what you say and do and um, you can can manifest your reality Let's see if there's any no spirit says that's it so for this short july 2021 love reading this is a collective reading i didn't Make I don't make the love readings specific to just singles, just living togethers, just daters, just marrieds. I just throw it all in, one big love reading, and just, um, just touch on whatever spirit wants to be thrown into this video, and it, it suffices. This is, this is where I come in. For more specific love readings, there are so many out there on the web. Um, you can find the card readers and the channels, and uh, that, that'll supply more for you. So I hope that you enjoyed. Please let me know if there are any video themes that you are interested in my doing, because I'm here for you. And have a wonderful day. Bye, y'all.